All right, let's check out Clash of Icons, the bonus series featuring Ferrari Testarossa and Bugatti EB110 Super Sport under Legends section of your road collection. So I posted the overview of this series. Um, so I'll have the link to that video in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in checking out what the series is all about, what kind of uh, rewards you can expect to get, what's necessary, all that relevant information. So, all right, but for this one, I will be trying to make some progress here and see if I can wrap up uh, another bonus series if not complete, but at least make a significant dent. So we'll start from the, well, jer uh, tier one. Yes. So we'll start with the Hunter at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. Here are the two cars featured. Let's take a, let's start with Testarossa. And it's a cool car. Anybody who grew up in the 80s will remember. All right. There's the Ferrari Red. And this one actually does have a pretty decent grip, doesn't it? So, should be, should be fun to race this. Not the fastest in the game, <laughs> far away from it, indeed. Especially consider, uh, compared to some of the more recent Bugattis that we've been racing in the game, right? Like, for example, this week's uh, weekly time trial car, the Devo. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near contention for that kind of top speed. But look at his handling. It's just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Got just enough amount of play. So it's not, you know, so boring. So you can get the tail to uh, wiggle a little if you'd like. Target distance again. Sometime somewhere in the negative distance, 384 meters. All right. No need to overdo it, right? Although considering on this account, I have both of my cars fully maxed out thanks to having some uh, upgrade discount for these cars available in the past but anywho there we go that is good enough for the first gold trophy out of what some 52 necessary so all right So that is one trophy down. Let's continue on to the next event here. Uh, we'll do autocross at Daytona motorcycle course. And for this one, maybe we'll take the Bugatti just for the fun of it. So we can check out the variety here, right? All right. And yes, um, Daytona. Regardless of which uh, track uh, variation that you get, track layout you get, 
autocrosses are always one of the longer ones along with the uh, Nürburgring also has a pretty long uh, autocross events so just be prepared that you're not gonna get like one of those like 20 second or under 20 second uh, autocrosses of course my favorite is the one at Catalunya Club which is I think the quickest one some of the faster cars, you can get them done in like 12 seconds or less. So when we used to get those autocross annihilation team challenges, yeah, grab your P1 GTR and take it right over to Catalunya and you can rack up some serious amount of over uh, the autocross wins. And uh, yeah, I couldn't uh, slow down quick enough with this car as the brakes are one aspect of this Bugatti that is not as good, not as strong as the Ferrari. So finishing some good seven seconds ahead of the target. It's almost an eternity. Eternity. Yes, that as everybody else is of course starting out with testarossa bringing in the big gun here early on totally uncalled for i know i know but anyway that is good enough for two trophies down so two down what did i say 50 more to go <laughs> yeah all right so we'll go back to testarossa for the Two lap around Hockenheim short to get through this first of the 20 tiers available in this bonus series. All right. I do like the short uh, circuit here at Hockenheim. This is, uh, I think this is my favorite here at Hockenheim. I don't know, I just generally do enjoy this really short circuit races um just go around and round and round in circles right often they tend to be more technical right like we're talking like a porsche test track dynamic circuit pretty short circuit but very very curvy and technical right a lot of sharp corners um and of course hockenheim short also Pretty technical as you get these We don't have to deal with the hairpin, obviously that's the Grand Prix circuit feature. But we still have to go through all this interior section of the circuit. Mobile one sacks. Southern curve where all that black top on the left is not considered off track here. Since uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting how they classify what's considered on track versus off track. If it's grass, then you're off track. If it's black top, you're fine. Generally speaking. Hockenheim, of course, is one of those circuits that have gone through some, oh, I don't know, uh, slight alterations in Real Racing 3 to minimize corner cutting, I want to say. Not so much um, short circuit, I don't think this one had gone through all that much changes, but on the like national circuit and Grand Prix circuit, like after the first northern curve, they put a big barrier on the right side to uh, discourage or make it impossible basically to cut across. But that happened a long time ago. Now it's kind of an ancient history of the game now, but uh, yeah. 
was a bit of a shocker the first time I saw that one. When it showed up in the game, I was like, whoa, where'd that come out of? Not that I was doing all the corner cutting, but it was more of the visible thing that like you feel, I don't know, I still remember like feeling a bit of claustrophobic. Like, whoa, that should be, that space should be empty on the circuit. I prefer seeing the wide open grassy area as opposed to this big barrier, you know? Anyway, uh, but I suppose preventing players from cutting across does make the game a little bit more, I don't know, even playing field for everybody. So that's, you know, that's all right. Obviously, we live with it. Anyway, that is good enough for tier 1 completion. So one down, 19 more to go. So stay tuned for the next tier in the next video coming up.